Right, uh, finally got around to casting um, a game or two here, and this is Aguana, Aguana versus Fat Turtle. Um, so Fat Turtle, Terran, in the bottom right of Submarine, Aguana as our Protoss, up in the top left. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can uh, see what's going on. Uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty standard sort of setup here, a pylon at the top of the ramp. Um, this type of uh, blocking the ramp, you know, weirdly against uh, Terran, more commonly Protoss is open with a pylon here, uh, and a, you put buildings here so that Reapers can't jump up this cliff so that the Reaper has to come in and out this way. Uh, so it's kind of easier to defend against that Reaper harass. Not that it really matters. This can still be useful for just stopping workers getting in, etc. Um, yeah. On the other side, uh, Fat Turtle, uh, you know, what is this? Just no. Um, so, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely not. So, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, early. Iguana is going to win. Um, because, you know, this just isn't an opening of any kind, is it? Um, like, stupidly early gas transferring workers into it. That's going to dent your income. You're not going to have enough money. You're not going to have as much money as you should. You can't even spend the gas. You don't have a barracks yet. Third, supply depot coming down. I mean, this is just literally nonsense. No barracks in sight. Um, so yeah, all we can really hope for is that Iguana ends this quickly. <laughs> just <laughs> uh, puts Fat Turtle a lot of his misery. Um, here we go. Uh, so um, one zealot coming out. Uh, typically, I'm going to be honest, I, I would tend against a Terran. I start the setup building, I scout, and and uh, I, I keep the worker hanging about to look for the Reaper. If the Reaper comes out and is coming across the map, I let the Zealot finish. If no Reaper comes out, so there isn't a Reaper coming across the map, I cancel the Zealot and I get my expert on uh, that little bit earlier. Um, uh, why? Because until you've got charge, Zealots are useless against um, Terran because marines are ranged units uh, and zealots aren't so simple as that um right void ray coming out first and, and there is an observer uh which is going to head across the map and take a little look around so uh despite such a woeful opening uh fat turtle has expanded um has got a handful of marines uh has got a few racks tech lab is uh is on the go here as well uh, there's a reaper building now i don't really do that. just what's the point at this stage um you know at the six minute mark you, you've just you've got to expect that your opponent is going to have oh god there's three reapers um the, these reapers are just an absolute waste of gas uh you know they're 50 gas each so there's 200 gas there just that are going to achieve literally nothing um carriers coming out from Iguana, the, the seven minute carriers uh, and that is a lot of stargates it's too many stargates to be honest um, with the fleet beacon if you're trying to build carriers um, as actually to be fair third base up in mining uh, to be honest though I, I just don't think you're gonna have the gas um, to be able to run for stargates building uh, carriers you would need four bases mining gas uh, to be able to do that. But uh, the fourth base is coming down with all of that said. And it's not going to matter. It doesn't look like the Terran is going to attack it anytime soon. So uh, a quick glance at the army supplies will tell us that Protoss could essentially A-click across the map right now. Um, Reapers can't shoot up. Uh, marauders, as awesome as Marauders are, can't shoot up. So these carriers on their own uh, could win this game in a pretty straightforward manner. It's a shame that the Stalkers and Zealots have turned up first. Um, yeah, nothing's left that shoots up and all of that dies. And the carriers are indeed just going to go uncontested here. Um, so, uh, what could we have done differently? Um, yeah, if you're Fat Turtle, one, don't open gas into three supply depots. But just why? What, what even is that? It, it isn't anything. Uh, so, yeah, number one, don't do that. Get, get your racks down earlier. Two, um, Terrans need to be more aggressive than that. You can't just allow a Protoss to build carriers just and do nothing. Uh, that will lose you the game. Trust me on this. Um, so, you, you know, the key defense, uh, carriers are very powerful units. The, the defense against them is you kill your opponent before they've built them. You know what I mean? Uh, because if they're rushing, carriers are mind-blowingly expensive. And so is the tech required to build them, the fleet beacon, etc. It's all expensive stuff. Um, 
So if your opponent is building those, that means they're cutting corners. They're, there's other things that they're not building, unless it's like well into the late game. If they're building those at six minutes, that's an awful lot of units and static defenses that they don't have. So you abuse that, you send in drops, you send in Hellions, you just annihilate them before they've got anywhere near the carriers. If I, uh, you know, if anybody wants to try that, if anybody, any Protoss is out there want to play me 1v1 and just have a go at rushing the carrier at the six minute mark, uh, I'd be happy to show you why that is an error. Anyway, GG.